Hey there everyone, it's AJ Van Rixtel and it is Time Lapse Tuesday Day. In today's video, I am creating a centaur. So I've been practicing doing some horses for another project, which I will be revealing at some point during the end of this month, hopefully. And I, part of it involved me doing some horses. Now, I thought I would as I've been practicing horses, do something to do with that for my next video, which is this one. So, I started off by drawing the outline of the horse and then moved on to doing a bit of a background for it. I thought I'd do it in a uh, foresty type setting and I really enjoyed setting the scene for the centaur. I wanted to have him quite a young, young centaur, so I did with a younger sort of manga style face and I thought, thought wanted to ha add a bit of almost drama to it with him leaping over this fallen log that was there. Once I'd done the initial outline I then moved on to going over it with just a, a 0 0.3 Pigma Micro pen just as a rough outline so that I could then uh, scan it in onto the computer and then print it off to add the colour. To add the colour I decided that I was going to do this in markers. I just felt as though I wanted to have a bit more practice with using markers. I used my Spectrum Noir markers and I, I really enjoyed creating the textures of the of the horse and the trees and, and the grass here and I feel as though I managed to create a nice sense of depth with regards to that. So I initially started off by doing a bit of blocking in with the various uh, colours for the background, a uh, bit of green and then uh, also blue as well for the for the sky right at the, the right at the far back. I just used really really light blue, and I decided not to really add any more detail onto that. For the trees, for the furthest trees, I added a light-ish green. Uh, before I applying a bit of brown and then just not adding that much detail on just to kind of create that sense of depth with that and I did the, the green foliage up at the top. For the closer trees I pretty much did that with all with brown for that um, and then I added a bit of green onto those to add a bit of sort of a mossy effect and then I attempted to add like a few sort of berries or something like that just to add a nice little effect to that. With regards to the centaur himself I started off by just doing a base layer of the brown for the for the horse part of the centaur and then I just did, did my usual skin tony type colours for the main humany part of the centaur and I blend it started blending that in and getting a really nice sort of texture for them, I wanted it to be quite smooth, as though it was really co uh, like coarse fair, fair there. Um, and I've, I feel as though I really managed to get the shape and the sense of quite well. And I really enjoyed the way I've managed to make it look as though it's leaping over there with the shadow, and uh, with the shadow of the spear uh, on the centaur's body moving down onto the log below him. And and then I just went over it again lightly with a bit more with with a thicker pen and I did the face and just added bits of shadow here and there um, and I'm really happy with the way that this turned out so it took around two and a half hours for me to do I really enjoyed creating this and I feel as though I've come on quite a lot with regards to doing horses I'll show you quickly some of the rough sketches that I've been doing for this other project that I've been working on which is centred around my Collision of Worlds novel which uh, is due to be released at the end of this year uh, which is the sequel to the first book that I released and so I'm really happy with again the way this turned out and I look forward to seeing what I can do next week so until next time, ta-ra! Thank you for watching everyone, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. 
on the right hand side of the screen you'll see some playlists of mine uh, you can go check those out also uh, there will be to the left hand side the review that I made of Mark Crilly's manga art last week which I employ you all to go and check that out and, and really enjoy it. It's reached over 50 views already since making this video and it's my best yet since I've really put a focus on doing my YouTube channel. I really enjoy making content for you guys so as always I really appreciate it when you do post comments and click the like button and share it amongst your friends. And if you do happen to like these videos please hit that subscribe button and I will see you next week.